are gathered here today to celebrate the life of Communication 101. Communication 101 was born on August 20th, 2012 at 10 a.m. She entered the world in the presence of 19 students and with the help of one course instructor. Although her 16 week life was short, she lived every day to the fullest and she was devoted to her purpose of teaching 19 students not only to face but to conquer their fears of speaking in public. We all know that Communication 101 could be high maintenance from time to time, perhaps more so than our patients could bear. But at the end, she imparted to us invaluable lessons. I would like to share a few of these lessons with you today. First, she taught us the importance of using signposts in our speeches. When I am speaking to you, um, telling you something, I should actually tell you that I am telling you something so that you know that I am telling you something. Next, she taught us the importance of using vivid language speeches. You see, for lunch today, I didn't just have a bowl of Campbell's soup. I had a steaming bowl of mouth-watering broth that emitted sweet aromas into the air. And with each spoonful, my soul sang melodies worthy of God's own choir of angels. She also taught us the importance of making irrefutable arguments we're convincing you that Communication 101's lessons are worthy to, enough to celebrate today. I should not mention that her book's covers are very nicely laminated. Or if I was trying to convince you otherwise, I should not mention that her father, Steve Schwartz, has an awfully large forehead. I also should not talk about how Communication 101 helped me to speak confidently, which helped me to approach Liam Hemsworth when I saw him shopping at the mall, which helped me to land an audition for the upcoming Hunger Games, and you are now looking at the new Katniss Everdeen. In all seriousness, although Communication 101 was difficult at times, she imparted to us lessons that we will never forget. We have learned to craft intelligent, articulate speeches that can entertain, inform, or persuade. We have learned to capture our audience's attention through gestures, through dynamic speaking, and strong eye contact. Because of her, we are better speakers today. Juan de la Cruz once said, they are like the sun, words. They do for the heart what a light. So in memory of Communication 101, let us shed light upon